Yo, YouTube, we back with another video. Listen, I know you guys saw that thumbnail. We are going to be doing a Gamma style craft ergo, whatever you want to call it. Review is it or is it not a top three clipper? We're going to be doing a slick back, keeping the back wide. We are going to be doing as well a high taper. Um, it's going to fall into place. We're going to make it look like a mullet. It is a mullet. You tell me if it is a mullet. If it's not a mullet, let's not waste no time as always and get right into it. As you guys can see at the bottom left corner, we are going to be using our number four guard with the lever all the way closed. And pretty much the reason why I chose the number four is because his hair is super long on top. So I want to use a high guard that gives me a chance that if I'm going to either do um, sheer work on top, it, it, you know, it's easy for me to blend into that number four. Or if I'm going to do clipper over comb, it also gives me that nice base at the crown of the head, uh, crown of the hair or head. Um, to be able to know what I'm going to be doing and what I'm blending, blending into. So now we are going to be doing our initial guideline. Initially, I was going to do like a no C cup, straight, high taper, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it more of that arch look so it matches the mullet look in the back. So it's not so much a high taper, but it is that, it, I mean, it is a high taper, honestly, but it has that nice arch in the back so it all blends in super nice into that mullet that he is growing out. Make sure you know you make your guidelines super clean so you know what are the lines that you're going to be following as you are fading. After we have that out of the way, we're going to go back to our high guards as we start to fade down. So now we are using the number three guard all, with the lever all the way open. And then we're going to, as always, as seen before, we are going to come with our number three guard now and we're going to close the lever. And we are going to fade all the way down from our highest guard, which was the number four all the way down until we hit that skin point or that initial guideline that we made with the trimmer. And once we get to that initial point, what we're gonna do is start to fade up and compress. What you're gonna see me do now is do a little bit of um, clipper over comb. And I normally do clipper over comb with the lever all the way open. Um, that way the cut of the, of the clipper is not, you know, too sharp or anything it gives it that nice little textured look and i'm just making sure that i clean and i'm clean up everything and you know can have a picture or an idea of what i'm going to be doing and how that hair is fading into um you know that number four and that number three guard as we are working our way down so pretty much we're just working our way down you know working our way from highest clipper or highest guard excuse me to the lowest guard like i said before and then we are going to fade up that last part um, notch by notch and compress so you guys did see the thumbnail say that is it or is it not a top three clipper um, in my opinion it's hard for me to really rate it because of the fact that i haven't used it for that long um, i was always using wall seniors and andis masters the thing that I like about this clipper is the cut and the, I don't know if it's the engineering or just the design of the way they made the blade. Um, I do feel like it, it does give the hair a different cut. It could just be me, but in my opinion, I really feel that as you fade with this clipper, it ha you have so much room for detailing with this clipper. It is a magnetic mo uh, motor. So I do feel that difference between this clipper and the wall seniors um i feel like the wall seniors can cut through bulk a lot easier than this one but i feel like i can detail more with this clipper than i can with the seniors um if i were to rate it uh 10 being you know just a perfect clipper zero being obviously trash i would give this clipper a seven um just because of the fact that i like clippers that i can do everything with can you cut through bulk with this clipper absolutely but I feel like it does um, snag a little bit. It could just be my clipper. Let me know what you guys, uh, what your guys' experience has been with this clipper. I'm gonna give it a seven, uh, maybe a 7.5. Um, I do like the notches little by little on the side where you know you can open and close and you know you got that little notch guidance. I used to not like that. Now I kind of got used to it, so I do like it. But I will say that another downfall about this clipper that I noticed was that the hair starts to kind of clog up right between the cutting blade and the guard. Um, so sometimes you do, you know, you have to really make sure you brush that hair out of the way and 
I don't know. It's just, it, it's me. I like, you know, as I'm cutting and as I'm flicking my, you know, my wrist out that the hair just, you know, just goes. It just falls off the clipper, but I noticed that it didn't on this. But I am gonna give it a seven, maybe a 7.5. Moving on to the tutorial. As you guys can see here, I'm just kind of moving the hair out of the way to make sure I can get that nice edge around the ears. We are gonna edge them up at the vertical bars. Make sure we get that super nice. Um, don't push your clients back, guys, because you push your clients back, and then when they come back, that edge just looks terrible. They look like they got two lines. So always make sure you try to, you know, stay as natural as possible. It is impossible to give somebody a nice lineup without pushing their hair back somewhat. So you have to keep in mind, you do have all to do an edge up, you have to push somebody's edge back. Just don't push them too far back. So on the left side, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the right side, is create that nice little rainbow arch um, guidance, and then just work your way and then start from the top to the bottom, do some clipper over comb, work your way up, fade it up. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice fade. I mean, I like it. it, it came together. His reaction, make sure you stay to the end. His reaction was, <laughs> that thing was priceless, but I like this haircut. I like the clip rack. I, you know, I told you guys 7.5, I'm gonna stand by that. Do I think they're better than the Wall Seniors? It's tough they're neck to neck i think they're one a one b but um what you guys are going to see me do here is push his or push his long hairs back into you know his hair or it back into his um you know crown or whatever you want to call it occipital bone just push his hair back in you guys get it and then edge up those little baby hairs that he has that way when we let those when we brush and comb those hairs back down that's Gonna, that's what's gonna create that hang time as you guys can see right there do the same thing on the other side push those little baby hairs down comb that hair back in edge those little baby hairs right there these are my babyless fx trimmers i got these boys hidden i got two pairs now i had the patty cuts version um i don't know who's red version or black and red version these are but man i got these boys to hit and we're gonna do the same thing. We are gonna give them more of that round look because in my opinion, I think um, if you are gonna edge, you know, those little baby hairs, I like the round look more, especially for a mullet. I just feel like the roundness goes better compared to being squared. Uh, use your shaver here, clean them up, clean all those stubbles out the way so the, necks, uh, the neck looks uh, cleaned up and, and nice. That hang time is gonna be nice. My boy's been growing this out for a while now, so just make sure that we give him what he asked for that thing gonna look right guys i promise you so he's not gonna cut nothing off the top so we're just gonna wet it make sure everything falls nice and even um that there's no you know bulging around the the crown it's you know it's falling nice um he does get that slick back and then he kind of runs his fingers through it so i kind of use my wide comb here in a little bit you'll see to be able to give it that style lay your client back edge him up always use that razor always go against the grain with the grain because every hair counts guys every single hair get all those stubbles out the way get that edge super crispy i like to dry shave when i'm doing my edge um i just feel like the edge comes out that much more crispier clean your client up so my boy didn't want to get rid of the mustache so that was on him uh so here what we're gonna do is put a little bit of uh, forming cream Make sure we uh, work all that uh, product into his hair. Make sure it looks nice and good. That way when we style it, you know, everything looks nice and equal. Use that wide tooth comb to give it that nice shape. But check out this reaction, guys. all right guys so this is the after it was exactly what he wanted i hope you guys learned something from it i hope i was uh, somewhat informative with the gamma or the stylecraft ergo clipper is it or is it not a top three clipper right now i'm gonna put it at a 1a 1b with the wall seniors you guys got to stay tuned for my next tutorial and the next clipper that I am going to be giving a review on. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Much love and God bless. Peace out.